A person with a movement disorder, like advanced Parkinson's disease, typically suffers from slowness and stiffness of the limbs and, in many cases, violent tremors. At the University of Minnesota, a crack team of medical professionals uses the technique of deep brain stimulation, or DBS, to relieve symptoms in patients. In DBS, a lead containing electrodes is surgically implanted and electrically stimulates neural circuits deep in the brain. Because everyone's brain structure is unique, the first step is to map the patient's brain in 3D using images that synthesize information from state-of-the-art MRI scans. This allows the team to pinpoint the target, which lies in one of several compact clusters of neurons called nuclei. The lead is inserted into the pea-sized target nucleus, known as the subthalamic nucleus, or STN. The goal is to reach the portion of the STN that controls movement. The lead is connected by a wire that runs under the skin to a neural stimulator implanted in the chest. It keeps current flowing to the lead much as a pacemaker works for the heart. When current is switched on, the patient, who is awake during the surgery, helps guide the surgical team by demonstrating how symptoms change as the lead is positioned. Generally, leads must be implanted in both sides of the brain to help control movement on both sides of the body. Once the leads are in place, and the neurostimulators have been programmed to supply current in an optimal manner, the vast majority of patients see dramatic improvements in their symptoms. For the U of M team, the greatest joy is to watch patients move from near immobility and violent tremors to this.